My name is Con Keeher. I'm a livestock farmer in Roscommon. We diversified into forestry in 1996, planting 55 acres of Sitka spruce and Norway spruce. Uh, we also planted a, a small amount of oak and ash. In uh, 1996, there was an awful lot of discussion on forestry. And uh, I, I started going to open days and uh, discussion groups held by Chagas and uh, it looked quite attractive, the grants that were available for forestry. There was a guaranteed income from the forest for 20 years that you didn't have in livestock. That was one of the, the main reasons for going into forest. It played a very active part in the formation of the forest. Once the trees went in, we were always aware that your premiums wouldn't be paid if there were failures in the forest. And I went through it uh, once a month made sure that there was no failures and if there were failures to be replaced. First of all we had to of course get our felling license in place and then put our, get roadways put in. <laughs> without grants and that you know, it wouldn't be possible for an individual to put roadways through forest or that without without some form of grant aid. And uh, we had to select their contractor and uh, we found that they did a good job. You can see today it's a fine, a fine forest. About 960 tonnes of thinnings came out of it. Quite rewarding but you wouldn't want to be looking on money for thinnings. You can see it has improved the forest quite a bit now. Those trees would have improved by two, two, three inches since it was thinned. I am now preparing for a second thinning. We have our felling license in place. There's maintenance to be done on roads, a bit of uh, fill to be done on roads and vegetation to be cut back. I went into forests where, the, where there was forest being thinned. I made inquiries about some of the places you go in, you know, see the trees will be cut nice and close to the ground and they weren't over, uh, it wasn't they didn't go in too greedy and they took out the right timber and uh, that was the way you, you decide on, on the contractor. Yeah, it's very important to have confidence in the person you bring in. The Chagas being the, the main people that have seminars and they have uh, forest open days and from planting to thinning. About four years time there'll be a decision made whether we're going to thin again or whether we're going to clear fell. But I'd have a few queries about the uh, replanting, I think there should be something put in place to help uh, farmers replant, otherwise we're going to end up with a lot of scrubland. You can see today it's a fine, a fine forest, there's very little trees down in it and uh, we're quite, quite happy.